Welcome to Abdul Highlights. Make sure you are subscribed and like the video. Hey, what's good, guys? Welcome back to Abdul Highlights. And in this video, all right, guys, so before game three starts, you know, there's this interview of Jermon Green that I want us to listen to. And it was pretty interesting. It's amazing. I think it's cool. You know, it's also something I want to touch on. So let's take a listen, guys. Like, and so it baffles me when every guy, just because they played in the 80s, uh, just because they played in the 90s, is like, man, if you played in our day, you get knocked out. Like, no, nah, not really, because it wouldn't be you. So, okay, you saying Rick Mahorn would have knocked me out. Rick Mahorn probably knocks you out. Like, Bill Lambert probably lays you out. So were there enforcers of that time? Of course. Would they have knocked you out? Of course. Their fine was also $2. Like, you know, it's just not the same day and age. If I go knock somebody out, I probably get fined a million dollars. Like it's just it just don't work the same, and so you know when guys get to making these comparisons or talking about oh if you played in this day and age, like yeah, and if you played in this day and age, you would have had to be way more skilled than you were, and it's 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 just different, you know. Like comparing um, comparing the physicality to the game and everybody acting like they were just the most physical and brutal enforcers it's like everybody acting like they shoot the ball like Steph Curry today you know it's like then it was physical now it's shooting everybody can't shoot the ball imagine me in 20 years like man if you played in my day you had to shoot like <laughs> like yeah other guys did shoot better and more but that don't mean you shot that well like and so it just baffles me when guys get out here talking and they ain't got, you know, we got YouTube and they, you can pull up them highlights and they ain't got no YouTube fights. Like, you see them on the court. And I, like, like Jermon said, just like, it's all these guys, all these old heads that always come back to this game and always have a problem with this game not being physical. Like, this, it's not that, it's not that physical era anymore. Now, people are not being in the paints. People are trying to shoot three balls now. We're shooting threes now. We don't, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not like a physical era of basketball now. Not it's a, it's a skill uh, era of basketball. So if you're not skilled, you know, you can't be in the league. And then if you're fighting, you know, that's not what the league wants to see. You want to see pure skill and athleticism. You want to see amazing basketball being played and not fights being, you know, breaking up or broken up. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, so, you know, I don't like when the old heads just come come and just start, you know, being so aggressive and start, you know, saying my era is better. Like, everyone thinks their era is better. So it's just left for everyone to, you know, appreciate their era of basketball and move on, you know. So, you know, both eras are amazing. Everyone played, you know, according to how that era was, you know, like right now it's shooting basket. I mean, three balls, and then it was physical because all those guys were, you know, big men you know the tough guys were big men back then and you know every all their points uh, was coming from the paint and they weren't were, they weren't shooting much three so you know it's understandable that things were physical you know you get annoyed when people tap you or hit you you know being a big man in that area trying to get some layups so we understand that era was physical but that doesn't mean you should compare it to this era of basketball it's different now you know we're just purely skilled individuals and not, you know, we don't have to be physical. We can use our skills to do all the talking instead of being physical. All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you in the next video.